Hi, welcome to Kyler Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to trigger HomeKit scenes using your Stream Deck. Sweet, here we go. Welcome to Kyler Studio. So why would you wanna do this? Well, if you have Stream Deck and you only have Philips Hue bulbs, you can just drag a Philips Hue scene into your Stream Deck if you wanna do it that way. If you have, in my case, I have a light strip that's it's not compatible with Hue, so it doesn't trigger with the Hue scenes, but it is compatible with HomeKit. So I am using the HomeKit, or I think they just call it Home, available, but I wanna be able to trigger it with a shortcut. Currently, you can't use a keyboard shortcut to trigger HomeKit scenes, but now, in Mac OS Monterey, the Shortcuts app is available for you to trigger using keyboard shortcuts. So let me show you. So as of right now, if you open a shortcut, you can select your scene, and up here in the top right-hand corner, you can add a keyboard shortcut. As of this recording, it's kind of buggy. So by the time this rolls out this fall, fall of 2021, they might have that worked out, so you may want to try that. Uh, it may work well for you, but in the meantime, it it works 20% uh, of the time maybe. So what I'm using, I'm going to use a program called Better Touch Tool. Better Touch Tool is a program that lets you run shortcuts. So we're going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to add a hotkey in Stream Deck. So I'm simply going to add a hotkey. Okay, I'm just going to, I always pick something random. Let's just see if that does anything. It looks like it doesn't. So I'm going to pick a hotkey and we're going to call it Spring Blossom, which is a name for a Philips Hue scene that I added to HomeKit. So it has a hotkey assigned. So all that does is presses a hotkey. I want the hotkey to trigger a shortcut. So now I'm going to add a shortcut. So here in the Shortcuts app, again, you need a, a Mac OS Monterey. We're going to call this Spring Blossom Shortcut. Okay, over here on the right where it says Actions. Oh, here, let me show you. There you go. Over on the right where it says actions, I'm gonna look for home. Just look for home, and all you want is the control of the home. Under scenes and accessories, I'm gonna go find the scene that I want to trigger, which is spring blossom. Click it, next, done. That's it, that's literally it. But if I want to try, you can go ahead and try adding a keyboard shortcut in there. In my experience, it doesn't work great as of this moment, but try that because that'll save you having to go through another program. But if that's not working, this Better Touch tool has been working fantastic. So let me show you. All I'm going to do is press my button, which is from my Stream Deck. I'm just going to press this button to record the shortcut down here, okay? So back to Better Touch. All I need to do is type the shortcut, which is really just pressing the button. So now that button or that hotkey triggers something. Now all I have to do is, what do I want it to trigger? I want it to go run a shortcut from the Shortcuts app. All I do is select the shortcut. What did we call it? Spring Blossom Shortcut, and we're done. That's it. I literally didn't change any. I changed it to a deep blue scene. Here, let me show you. So I'm in a deep blue scene. Now I'm going to touch the spring blossoms right here. And it goes to spring blossom, including my light strips. So one thing you have to do is when you port your scene over, you have to go to the light strips and... Um, Turn it to the color you want. I like the pink for the spring blossom. And then go into spring blossom and make sure the light strips is added. That's what I didn't do. So I need to add remove accessories. Okay, make sure my light strip is in there. 
done, close, and now it's in the scene. And now still all I have to do is press this spring blossoms and now it changes the light strips. So that hotkey triggered a shortcut which triggered a scene and now the scene is on. Now you can also build out some logic. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to toggle an outlet. In this case, we're gonna do a fan to toggle the fan on or off using Stream Deck. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and we'll catch you next time.